let's hear, let's do, look at the real text messages from you. 337. Three, I would like please, to see Please, give me the text messages. Juan, hand those to me, please. How Where did he harass you? He talks about uh, how my dad is dead now, along with my dead dog, where they're, where they're supposed to be. Did you know the two people that she's saying are your friends, did you know them prior to her moving in? I wouldn't have known them from a can of paint. Okay. And so she introduced me to him, and yet those two are responsible for my property being stolen. So Not true. with that oh being God. said, let's continue to what what the question was. What were the circumstances of you say the dog? There was a dead dog you found in the apartment. It's allegedly, her friend beat the dog to death. Now, previously, I never entered her apartment because I I I try to be a professional landlord and respect people's privacy. Mm -hmm. So. Being concerned for the animals because there was a nasty smell emanating from the apartment throughout the house, I decided this would be my opportunity to go see what was really going on in the apartment. So I enter the apartment, Bye. see nothing but feces and urine and dog fur. So I go into that room and on that wonderful air mattress, which I provided to them, I saw a dog that was motionless. I look, I saw the dog, I'm like, oh my goodness, oh, that dog did it. And so I, 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 I left the room and continued exploring because the entire house was a hot mess express. So I saw clothes on the floor in a basket that looked familiar. I grabbed that basket, went to my tenant, stolen clothes. They stole from other tenants. I called Miss Brown and said her dog was dead and she can't get the dog. Okay, so, let me ask you something. My, my dog died at Lester Grove's Animal Hospital. After that, um, did she ever come back to the apartment again? After she got her dog, she never came back to the apartment. You never heard from her again? Oh, I heard from her after that. Yeah, things went way downhill after that. Okay, and I'm looking at the text messages. Why don't you stand up? Okay, what is it that you want me to see, sir? She asked about the dogs. I wasn't concerned about the dogs. I just wanted her gone. I found out the dog was dead. She's starting to get ignorant. I said, good luck with whatever's going on and your dead dog. Then she just went out of control. The N-word, I'm N-word this. The only good N-word is a dead N-word. My, my grandpa used to own N-words. I'm the scum of the earth. Did you I, say that to him? Uh, I did call him the N-word one time. Oh, because, <laughs> because he sat there calling me a cracker. Crack. Oh, here, Jimmy. Oh, hold, hold on, on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on you on call me. Mr. Drummer never calls you any names. Oh, really? He, he wrote to you, good luck finding your dogs. Your dogs had run off, run off them? No, they didn't. My dogs were at my house with me. One okay. dog did, one dog ran away. Oh, my dog died. He wrote to oh. you, good luck finding your dogs. You wrote, like my daddy used to say, the only good is a dead No, I did not say that. I did but not say crazy. that. Jimmy, what, ma'am? Hell, KKK. <laughs> I would just get to that level. No, you know what? I'm, she all right, in. I'm done. I'm done yeah. hearing all of this. There's nothing more to be said. You're, You're fucked up, man.